Will it run? Take two. So, I had to run and grab a business card because I was going back and forth between the spark plug gap and trying to find a good spark. Every time I'd open the gap up to anything at all, anything over like 16 thousandths of an inch or 10 thousandths, it would just, it wasn't a blue spark. It was like yellowy, shitty, orangey, reddish, right? So, it makes me want to look at this. That's why I cut, I had to go in and grab a business card. For people who don't know, it's an old timer trick. So we roll this around, you see these? Alright. That's for your magneto. So what you do is you roll it, see this? See the S? And the N? Here? Okay, so there's two contacts. One of them you can see here and the other one's kind of underneath, you won't see it. What I do is I roll it, see the line, so that the full, let me see, yeah. anyway, so that the full magnetic surface is being occupied by the magneto right there. Okay, so that's it right there. We're That's like top dead center or some shit. Anyway, the gap between your, co your magneto and your flywheel, so you get it set here, and you take a business card, loosen this, here, loosen the thing, when you loosen it's got oblonged holes, you can wiggle it around, shove it up, stick a business card in there, shove her back down, well you won't have to shove her down, the magnetic, the magnet will pull it down, the magnetic force will hold it down against the card, so just kind of steady it with your hand and tighten it up, make sure it don't move too much, when you're done, turn the flywheel, and the business card will come rolling right out of there and you'll have the right gap. So then I went and I opened this up to like I think like 32 thousandths or something, just over 30. And it was getting a nice bright blue spark. So I'm thinking that's probably going to do her. Um, the other thing I did was I ended the fuel filter to check to make sure it wasn't plugged. Blew air through it and blew air through the uh, fuel passage in the carb quick. So, cross fingers. So here we go. I have short term plans for this thing. Maybe make some videos, maybe have some fun, maybe do a stunt or laugh at somebody fall. I don't know. We got, I got bad ideas as usual but, uh, big picture I would like to take this and turn it into a go-kart because to put a kit on this is kind of suicide but I have a centrifugal clutch I have a chain sprockets everything's figured out so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut you know, I'll even keep this frame and I'll solid mount one drive wheel the other drive wheel come over here on the back and we'll make a go-kart like that. I'm not even going to keep this so I can run a nice little smooth steering column on it. This should work. This should work. And then the kids can run around and some, have some fun. That might be okay. And there's more videos I can make where people can say, hey, he fixed it. He does fix stuff. Okay? Because people like to see me doing stuff. Here we are doing stuff, see, and you can see I'm doing stuff. Phil. That's right, Phil. I think everybody forgets that nobody's really watching these videos anyway. It's kind of dismal. It's a sad, sordid state of affairs when people won't even watch a guy fix stuff. Well, they will, they just watch other guys, because this guy's not too entertaining. Mostly not entertaining, mostly weird, mostly crazy, partly obnoxious. Definitely a touch too much in all situations, or... putting this back on because when I was checking the spark I found that my drill 
the battery is dying. And I'll probably get a better spark out of it and more RPM with my strong little hands. All right. On. And. Cross your fingers. Choke on. Choke on. Let's see what we do. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like it's lighting, finally. I say, I look at this way.
Anyway, it runs. See? So, the go kart. I'm literally thinking I can leave this, uh, get rid of this top tube here. So, cut, 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 liberate. And literally leave because the engine, the engine spacing and the chain tension and everything's already worked out. You can just cut it, whammo, <clears throat> and then you know you'd be sitting in a go kart like your seat would be, you know, here like this, back wheels, front wheels, perfect little kid size. So we're gonna strap the plastics on this and. Um, I gotta adjust the front brake, but yeah, I'm gonna get the plastics on, get the air cleaner on. Might even Varsol wash this thing and take it for a rip. Take it for a rip, maybe do something stupid, but hey, it where it runs. So yeah, there I fix stuff. I can fix stuff, see? Alright, keep it simple, keep it Neanderthal. Barn find, super bike, running. <laughs>